Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Acacia. It is winter season, which means it's time for protective braids. I just finished installing these extensions, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you from start to finish how to do these yourself. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, hair, makeup, and lifestyle-related videos. If that is something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe, and follow me on my other socials to find content you're not gonna see here. Without further ado, Let's get started. Any good wash day starts out with detangling your hair. So I'm using my conditioner as well as a detangling brush. For those wondering what my natural hair type is, um, it's like a 4B, 4C, 4A mix. Honestly, it's kind of like everything all at once. <laughs> Whenever I look at those charts, like I finally feel like, oh, I've understood like where my hair is. And then I look at another chart and it's completely different. So my hair is just a type four, honestly. I am so done with the hair typing. So this is what we have so far with all of our hair detangled and put into twists. I'm gonna hop in the shower, shampoo my hair, and I'll be right back. So my hair is all clean and washed. I just have some leave-in conditioner in my hair. I'm going to be using a thermal spray. This was sent to me from Kira Stas. It's their nutritive plant-based protein and niacinamide. It says beautifying detangling blow drying mist for dry fine to medium hair. And I'm also gonna be using the Kira Stas uh, eight hour magic night serum. It's not nighttime, but I'm gonna be putting my hair in braids. And so this is the only time I'll get to use it. It doesn't really have a scent, it's very light. I like that. And then using two pumps. Now it doesn't feel like super slippery or anything, but it does make your hair feel soft. I find a lot more um, expensive hair care doesn't have that dimethicone feel to it. And a lot of the drugstore hair products do have more of the silicones in it. Then twist this away. I like to twist it so that my hair stays wet and it doesn't dry off as I'm blow drying the other sections of my hair, right? This gets my entire head blow dried within I would say 20 minutes, 25 minutes, where it used to take me two hours. <laughs> this is amazing, love this. It does, you have to use it carefully though because you can rip out a lot of your hair using a round brush, especially with curly hair, so be mindful. But if you go section by section and you kind of use the flat side before using the brush side, sorry, then you should be fine. And look at that, it's bone straight. My scalp, usually at the top here, gets really, really dry, so I'm gonna be adding a little bit of oil. Just kind of put it through so that everywhere can get a little bit of oil and it will help it grow better. So I'm set to do my hair. The ones that I'm using is the Outro Expressions. This is a pre-stretched, pre-layered um, hair. It comes in a six pack and this is a shade 1B. I have two packs just in case. I'm sure I'm not gonna need them, but I will use hair for other things in the future. I have a rat tail comb, some, what would you call these? Like These are not butterfly clips, they're just clips. One of these for when I'm braiding and sectioning, I can pin it back. I have a handheld mirror, pretty large one so I can see the back of my head. We're gonna start by sectioning my hair into four as I always do. So down the center, all the way down to the back. And the cool thing is with your mirror, you can look at the back of your head and make sure that it's straight. So next I'll go ahead and section it this way. I like to start at the back of my head with every hairstyle that I do, just cause usually if I'm doing something brand new, if I mess up, <laughs> You know, you can hide the back by putting the front down, but uh, you can't really hide the front, so. Then I'm just going to braid this section away since we will not be touching it for a while. Now we have four sections. We are starting with the back quadrant. Yeah, I wanna make them not too small, not too big. From here, I'm just going to section my hair. I'm gonna start at this little corner. I'm gonna look at it. Make sure it's a good size. 
So here's our first section. This is what they look like. And you're gonna cut the elastic, not the hair, just the elastic. And now you have your weft, weft, weft of hair. You take a little piece out, whatever thickness, you wanna maintain this thickness. So if you're doing it like this, make sure that every single piece that you take from your weft of hair is the same thickness. And that's how you're gonna make sure that your hair is consistent. Now you're gonna take the little piece that you, sec that you sectioned out. You're going to section it uh, three quarters, right? So one side is a little bit bigger than this one. You're going to loop it around like this and then connect these two sides. So now you have three strands. You have three strands. So you have your hair here, I pinch that. You're gonna get your loop, loop it around so that your hair is caught between those two braids. You're gonna hold them together, leaving this single strand loose. You loop around once and then braid like you have three strands. When you get down to the end, you're gonna basically make a knot. I'm gonna take a little piece of hair, like that, and you're just gonna loop it around and make a knot. Just like that. And then you have your braid from your root all the way down. So my camera, I didn't realize that like it was at no battery because I put it to charge yesterday, but the electrical wasn't working, so it did not charge. So while I was charging my battery, I went ahead and finished a little bit more of my hair. Both sides are not exactly perfectly parted. And I've used so far two of the little bundles. Both sides have a little bit of hair left. I'm actually just gonna stop here and then move on to the front. I always like to do that because if I don't end up being able to finish my entire head, I still wanna go outside sometimes, you know, we have a life. <laughs> so um, I always suggest leaving the middle and just doing the perimeter so that if you need to, you can always put your hair up in like a bun or whatever and run your errands or do whatever you gotta do. Ain't nobody need to know that you're not done your hair. Nobody but you and all the other black women who are like, mm -hmm, I see you, child. So let's go ahead and section this side. We're gonna try to line it up with this line right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go forward. My hair here is a bit thinner than everywhere else, so it's okay if it's a bit bigger. So I'm taking a bit of my shea butter, warming it up between my fingers, and then putting that through the length of the hair, through the hair, on the roots, to the ends, all of that. This is gonna be your protective butter. Now I'm gonna make, I think three, maybe three on this one. I'm gonna start back here. Just section my hair down. So from the jump, I'm just gonna part them into three sections like that, just to make sure that they are even. Put that up. All right, so now we have these two to work with. So I'm just pulling apart the hair so I have a decent amount making sure it's pretty even with the rest of the hair that I have on my head. I'm going to separate the hair again into two parts. The gist of the matter here is you wanna have more on one side and less on the other. Take the less side and you're gonna put it on top of that, loop it around, and now you're gonna have the two pieces connecting as one. That's why you wanna make these parts a bit bigger because this one is gonna be doubled. So from here, you're going to pinch your natural hair like this. You're going to take your part where your index fingers are and put it around your hair. You're gonna separate your natural hair so a part of your hair is on both of these two bigger pieces. Okay, let me do that one more time. Pinch and separate, okay? Pinch that all together in your non-dominant hand and take this loose hair and wrap it around just once. Just like that, make sure it's pretty taut and then braid it like a regular braid. So one thing to note as you braid, you'll notice the ends of the hair are kind of braiding as well. So you always wanna take your fingers and clear the braid so that there's no knot. Once you get here to the bottom, you're going to separate a little piece of this hair, okay? and you're basically making a knot around the hair so that it doesn't unravel. There you go, we'll do it again. 
I like doing it two times and then not so it doesn't unravel. That's it. We're gonna go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Get a bit of hair, section it out, take a piece away that's smaller, loop it over, and make three strands. One between your index fingers and the other one close to your palm. Pinch your natural hair, take the piece between your index fingers and put it around the hair. You're gonna separate your natural hair in two between the two pieces. Combine them in one hand. Take your the loose piece and wrap it around just once, keeping it nice and taut. This is gonna keep it tight. And then just braid. That's it. And of course we don't wanna make it too tight because it can really give you a headache as well if it's too tight. And we don't want to have throbbing scalps. So I'm braiding this in real time. I've done my hair like this for so long so it goes pretty fast, but take your time if you need to slow down and make sure that they're done properly, you can do that. And once you're more custom, you can braid a little bit faster. Go ahead and section off a little piece of the hair. I like to make sure it's a pretty long piece. And then you're going to make a knot around your hair. Make a loop, take the string around, pull it through. There you go. And then one thing I like to do, here's a tip, take it from the root, hold it, and smooth it down. It's going to make sure that the hair is nice and smooth without any bumps. Whew, it is now 5.30 and we have done quite a bit. I started my hair this morning. I don't quite remember what time. I think it's around 12. We'll put it up on the screen. So it's been a few hours that I've been sitting in this chair. I have done pretty much the entire back of my head. I just have the top portion on this side and I have a little bit more on this side to finish up. Now, I did want to talk to you guys about the front of the hair. The reason being is because the front is always a little bit more difficult because you have to section it differently. If you continue with the same sections, it's going to look weird. I've always found it to look weird. So I always section the front of my hair separate from the rest of it. So the rest I kind of go backwards. The front I like to section it out. So I did one on the left hand side. So following the same pattern that I did on this side, we are just going to section the hair like this all across. And this is going to go into where my baby hairs are because my hair in the front is a lot shorter than the rest. So I'm just trying to make it somewhat even. You don't have to do it like this. This is just what I do. Go forward with this, make this little part right here and make sure that it's about the same width um, as the bottom ones here. And then I'm going to pin this away. Now I'm going to let go of the back and just basically continue that line. You're going to part this right here and make sure that this is even so it's in line, it's in the same row as the rest of this hair. But do you see how I'm connecting both of them? So it makes one like swoop and it's all in the same line. That's what we're looking for. And then we're going to continue with the braids on this side and this ends up being one row. Start here. And then I'm not really following like a line down. I'm just making sure these look pretty even and that's pretty much it. This is where it gets a lot easier because it's at the front of your head and you can see it. So these usually don't take me a very long time to do. We start with the line like this. Okay, make this its own separate category. So it's kind of like a triangle right here. Making sure that my baby hairs are also in their own little realm because I'm going to need to put something on that side. Part this one away. So we'll start with this corner right here and get this out of the way. Try not to make this one too, too tight because it's literally just baby strands. I just went ahead and finished the front of my hair and once I was done, I was ready to dip it with some hot water. This is basically just going to make the ends of the hair straighter and it's going to look more polished. So boil some water, get a bowl, you can pour the water over the hair. You're just doing this as many times as you need to get the ends nice and straight. Make sure you don't burn yourself and get a towel. If you find that your hair is dripping for a while, you can just walk around with the towel and eventually it would air dry. But yeah, that is pretty much what I did with the ends.
And this is the final look. I dipped them in water. I also went ahead and trimmed my ends so there's no random long parts of my hair and there's no random short parts of my hair. And for that, I just used a comb like this. It's a razor comb, has a little blade in it, and on the other side is a regular comb. And so I just combed it through the hair to shear it out a little bit. And yeah, that's what it looks like. See, this is what I ended up doing with the front. And all around, the parts look pretty even. I did obviously use a mirror to help me with this. If it's not completely even, don't worry because once it grows out, ain't nobody gonna see it. So there's that. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one.